Good morning, Sex family. How are you guys all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Welcome back to the daily vlog. If you're not yet subscribed and part of the family, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications and never miss out on any videos I post here on my channel. Today's vlog is a little bit different than normal. It's actually a sit down video where I just want to talk one on one from me to you, the viewer, wherever you may be watching, whether it's at home, at work. Uh, at a bus stop, I don't know. Uh, I just want to put this video out today where I kind of just talk to you guys and also help motivate you guys. Uh, because for those that don't know, I tend to reply to a lot of Instagram DMs of people that are going through things, whether it's death, breakups, etc. Just kind of, you know, to help motivate you, get you back going, get you back on your feet in that kind of uh, uh, sense. But I probably responded to at least 70 DMs over the past four days of just people going through things. And I was like, you know what? I should just do a sit down video where I kind of just talk to you guys and kind of motivate you guys as well through this for anybody else that may just be going through things. So real quick, if you want to follow my Instagram or my Twitter, etc., cetera, uh, links to that be down below. You can follow me at Jeff Saxon Vlogs. Guys, I am getting close, by the way, to 30,000 Instagram followers. So if we can make that happen, that would be pretty lit. Uh, but with this video, my goal is to help motivate you, uh, whether it's you've dealt with death recently or you have are dealing with a breakup, and just kind of let you guys know, like, whatever has happened in your life, good or bad, it's going to make you a better person. Um, so one of the things that I personally like to do is when things have happened in the past, uh, it, it's helped shape me into who I am today, the person I am today, uh, especially at eight years old, losing my father to cancer definitely helped shape me to the man I am today. Uh, almost 23 years old, literally in two days, which is crazy to think. And uh, before I go any farther, guys, I hope you guys have a safe 4th of July for all my American viewers. Whatever you guys are doing, let me know down below in the comment section. Are you celebrating? Are you going out? I want to know. Let me know down below in the comment section. But uh, I I uh, got off track for a second. Jumping back on track. Um, whether when you deal with bad things in life, it shapes you into the person you are, uh, good or bad. And for me, I've gone through a lot of bad, but I've also gone through a lot of good. And it made me realize I want to personally do good to just always better myself. And I'm here today doing what I do. And uh, I, I kind of want to just motivate you, knowing like what a lot of you guys are going through, uh, whether it's depression and all that, just to know whatever happens is in the past. You put the past aside and you use that as fuel to make a stronger you. Um, even if, for example, if you're dealing with depression, for example, I know I've dealt with it. And the best thing to honestly do is just find something you love to do and just do it, whether you're going to have success or not doing it. I mean, if you're not happy doing what you're doing currently in life, well, then go do what makes you happy. Uh, for me, I personally, I, I love getting on a fire truck. I love when this little thing goes off knowing that people need help and I get to go help people and be a good person and give back to my community. That's the one thing I love uh, personally is just helping people. It makes me feel good as a person because I know whatever I'm doing, I'm giving back and I'm helping people out in their time of need. Now, for some motivation for you guys that are uh, just going through some stuff, the best thing I can honestly say is let that past be put in your past. Use it as the fuel or fire. Let that burn inside of you to help you become a better person, become the person you want to be in life. Uh, you're only better than you were the day before. You're, oh, wait, how, how's that sound of mine go? You're only better than yourself the day before, which means... However you were yesterday is how you're going to be in the past. And you want to just be better than the past. You want to uh, set high standards for yourself. You want to just keep going up and up and up. I'll be honest for you guys. Like, I'm back on the weight loss journey. Like, I'm having fun. Like, I'm taking this weekend off, obviously, because of the big party my family's having. But for me personally, it's like I want to get in healthy shape. I want to be able to do a lot of things. I want to go mountain climbing in a few years. I want to go swimming with sharks again. I don't want to jump out of planes. I want to do a bunch of crazy things. So I use what I have going against me in life as fuel, as fire, to be able 
as a purpose to get to what I want to do. Do you think I want to be fat? To be honest, no. Do you think at times in the past I want to be depressed? No. I just take that personally myself and I use it as my fuel. And I feel like just making a video where I talk about this honestly, uh, raw and uncut, instead of just always sending out Instagram messages, I don't know, I feel like it's important. Uh, because you can take something possibly the wrong way in a, a written text instead of a video where it's like me having a conversation with you guys. And the one thing I really want to ask you guys is this, is like, what is it you really desire in your life? Like, what's the main thing you really want to do? Think about it. What is it that you want to do that makes you happy? And the answer is, do whatever you need to do to be happy. Whatever makes you happy, that's that's all that matters. You only have one life. Live it. Enjoy it. Breathe it. I know, like, especially with depression, personally, it's going to kind of take you down. You're going to feel like you're in a slump. You're going to feel like things aren't going the right way, and it's okay. It's okay to be in a slump. It's okay if you have things not going right for you. But all you got to do is just move forward. Whether how easy or hard it may be, that's going to help shape you into a better person and mold you into a better version of you than you were when all that stuff was happening. And I feel like, I don't know, I just, I wanted to make a different video today where I just sit here and I ramble and I talk to you guys about this kind of stuff because I don't know, I, I feel like this is me on cut, more authentic me where I'm just able to talk and uh, I don't know, like, to be honest with you guys, I'm really happy in life right now. I haven't been this happy in a quite a few years. And I I have you guys to thank. I have many people to thank. I'm doing everything I personally love. And I've never enjoyed life more than I have now. And thanks to you guys and everybody else. And it's to kind of just show you guys in a way... Where you take all that bad stuff that's happened in the past and you let that be your fuel to help you become the person you want to be. I mean, obviously, nobody's perfect. I'm personally a long way away from where I want to be in life in terms of health and all that. But it's important just to enjoy life no matter how hard it could be. Because it's precious and it could be taken away in just a moment of time. Uh, going on personally, like when I lost my father, uh, eight years old, I was devastated. I mean, I, I was depressed for quite a few years. I mean, it was a young age. I mean, now that I look back on it, it's like, I, I get personally where I was in that frame of mind. And now that I look at it now, it's like, it helped define me who I am today to make me the person who I am to to have a lot of empathy, to care about others, to just want to do things that you you got to do in life to be happy. And uh, I don't know how many of you guys follow Gary Vaynerchuk or Gary V. Uh, one of his things, like in his like intro to like his videos and all that, is like, don't you just want to be happy? And so true. Cut out cut out things in life that don't make you happy, and just do the things that make you happy. Whether it's like not driving the most expensive car, not having to buy the biggest house, all that kind of stuff. Cut back on your bills if you can in some way or other. Stop buying Spotify Premium or YouTube Premium every month. Right there, $30 are saved that you can use, put that $30 to something else you want to do. I don't know. I, I just felt like, even though this video is probably all over the place, you guys got to see the more authentic me and get to hear me talk and... I don't know, I just, I want you guys to be happy in life. I want you guys to be successful at doing whatever you want to do. If you want to be a content creator on YouTube or wherever, go for it. Make videos that you want to make. Put the work in. Outwork others that are on this platform or any other platform. Put the work in, you know. Learn everything you got to learn, whether it's from cameras to editing to thumbnails to search engine optimization, which is a big one. To also knowing what people want to watch, mainly kids, because that's who watches YouTube. But I, I want to be a positive impact on everybody. And whether it's you guys, my family, 
uh, the station of the guys I work with. It's more about taking pride in what you do and stepping up when nobody else around you is and become a bigger, better person to help everybody around you. And that's what I want to do. I want to help myself, help my family, help you guys, help everybody. And um, like I said, if you guys are just going through stuff, don't be afraid to reach out to me via Instagram DMs. And uh, if I see it, I'll reply. And, you know, just I, I feel like I, I this video could hopefully motivate you guys to just be like, you know what, Jeff's kind of right. The past is the past and it's time to move forward and uh, become a better person than you were the day before. So thank you guys for watching. I don't know how long this video is. Uh, OBS over here doesn't show uh, the time of how long I've been talking for. It only shows that I've been recording, which is a plus, which means I didn't ramble for no reason because that would have sucked if uh, the computer was not recording this right now when I was talking to you guys. But no, I felt like this is important just to uh, get to sit here and talk to you guys. Uh, regular vlogs will resume at tomorrow. Uh, I felt like this is, you know, offbeat, off the cuff, something different than I normally do, but I want you guys to see the more authentic side of me, and I also want to try motivating you guys, so thank you guys so much for watching, Sax family, I love you guys, until next time, it's been your boy Jeff, keeping it real, I'm gonna log out, I'm gonna peace out, and well, peace.